Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video we will be talking about Google Shopping free listings. The free listings is available in two categories, the standard listings and the enhanced listings. The standard listings can be viewed on Google Search or Google Images, while the enhanced listings is available on the Google Shopping tab. And this is where most merchants would like to advertise on and also list their free listings. Let's go back to the standard listings. The only requirement you have is to either submit a structured data with the ID, title, image, link and the price or submit a data feed to Google Merchant Center. To submit uh, the data feed to enhanced listings, you require a lot more. So let's go and dig in what you require now. Okay, now let's have a look at the requirements for the data feed. I will share the link in the description, but you essentially go to Google's official documentation. And if you scroll a little bit lower, you will first see the standard listing requirements. As you can see, these are the only ones, ID, title, the link, image link and also the price. Of course, as mentioned before, you can submit a complete Google feed. Now, uh, if you go and scroll down to enhanced listings, you will see that the requirements are a lot more. So the initial five attributes alongside these as well. Now for the color, size, age group and gender, you do not need to submit this if you do not have these values. But if you are uh, advertising apparel products, then you do need to add these values alongside the item group ID if they are from the same product group. For example, if you are submitting a t-shirt from Fruit of the Loom and uh, that is a blue one in size S, M and XL, then all those variants need to have the same item group ID and submit a different size value. If they also differ in color, then also do that with this one. So that is the requirement for the data feed. You cannot submit a structured data on your website that will not be enough for the enhanced listings. So make sure that you submit everything. So now that we know what the data feed requirements are for the enhanced listings, let's go to the second part, which is the trust factor. This is extremely important because Google needs to be able to rank you based on a criteria. And this is essentially the trust factor. Now, the trust factors have certain uh, listed requirements on the Google's official documentation, and there are also other indirect influences. Now, the first requirement uh, that Google officially uh, mentions is connecting yourself to a third party platform. And this platform at the moment is PayPal. So let's go and have a look how you connect. Now, let's have a look how you add a third-party platform in Google Merchant Center. From the dashboard, you go to the top right corner and click on the wrench icon. Then you go to linked accounts and then you choose platforms. Click on the plus icon and here you can see you can connect PayPal. Now that we know how to connect PayPal, let's go and look at the data feed. Yes, we have already looked and seen what the requirements are for the data feed, but you also need to emphasize on the quality of the feed. And this is ensuring that you follow all shopping policies. Make sure that uh, when you go to Google Merchant Center, you can go to products and then diagnostics. Make sure that there are no warnings and no errors listed there. If they are, resolve them. Then check also that you have fulfilled your product identifiers. When a manufacturer has assigned a barcode, ensure that you have that info into the GTIN attribute and also assign brand and set identifier exists to yes. If you don't do this, then you will have a lot less quality in your data feed and thus your ranking will go down. Also link your Google My Business account. Let's go and have a look how you do that now. Google Merchant Center account Go to the top right corner and click on the wrench icon. Then go to linked accounts. Now choose Google My Business and click on the plus sign. Now you can add your email address and then send request. 
Now that we know how to link your Google My Business account, let's go and check that you have fulfilled your business address. This is also very important to verify. In Google Merchant Center, you go to the top right corner, click on the wrench icon, go to business information, and then here add your business address and also your customer service contact details. Now that we have done that step out of the way, let's go and check that your website has the business address in your contact details. So the requirement is that you need to add a business address, email address, telephone number and a contact form. Yes, there might be one or two that are not listed on the website, but these are essentially requirements. Google really needs to identify that your business is authentic and wants to avoid illicit practices. Make sure that your business is officially registered in the country you are originated from. This also increases your quality. For example, in the UK, you can add your VAT number on your website. This is another signal for Google to identify that you are a valid business. And now the last and most important part is the review. The review shows a very high trust factor and you should be collecting that if you are not already doing that. Make sure that you have a script installed that automates this process by sending a customer the email. You can also use something for free, which is the Google customer reviews. It's very easy to install. You simply need to have the script installed into your thank you page. You do need to add some info, but uh, the instructions that Google gives you will show you what you need to do. And now you know what you need to do to increase your trust factor. As you can see, it's not as simple as just connecting a data feed. The trust factor is extremely important to be eligible on the Google Shopping tab. To show Google that you are trustworthy, you can also apply for Google Shopping Actions. This will be a commission-based advertising platform where you will be listed among the other shopping ads, but instead of a click, you pay per commission. And this will also increase your trust factor. You only need to accumulate a few sales before Google will increase your ranking. And these are all the things that you need to do to be listed on the free listings tab. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.